Car on the right. Clear on the right. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Yellow flag ahead, watch out. Faster car coming. What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I bring you action from my first ever league race on Assetto Corsa Competizione. I've been waiting too long for this to be honest for many reasons but I will dive into that a little bit later. So we are joining the DMV Couch Masters which is a German league. It would mean like German Motorsport Association and there are some very quick guys in there. Uh, some big hitters believe me. So don't expect miracles guys like in the Formula 1 league. This is going to be my first ever league race on Assetto Corsa. Competizione. Although I had a couple attempts before, like uh, Barcelona should have been my first race, a night race even, but unfortunately without practice I had too low tire pressures, cold tires and I had to retire the car after a couple laps. Then Monza, I had a disconnect and now hopefully it's third time lucky. Now on this note, Ronnie, I know you're watching. Uh, Ronnie Lab, also known as RL77 on Twitch. Uh, he's actually the reason why I'm in this league. So decided to join him. It's also German. I think we are almost the same age as well. But his setup, dude, definitely check him out on Instagram. But more importantly on Twitch because he does regular streams. Now, guys, are you ready for my first ever league race? As I'm counting down, three, two, one. It's about to go green any moment now. Uh, five green lights are out and we're racing here in Bathurst for the fourth race of the calendar, the GT3 DMV Couch Masters. We are on P28 on the grid. As we go into the first corner, very slowly there. So many cars, absolute traffic jam here. We just try, go very slowly, avoid everybody. We don't want contact. We don't want to damage our car just yet. We just want to survive and uh, take it easy. So we are on P28, there's one guy behind us if you're uh, looking at the top left, the positioning is not quite right yet, but um, let's not worry about that. There's yellow flags, we have to watch out. There's uh, a green car, there's also an Audi facing the wrong side, the wrong way rather. So we make up a couple positions there. Not sure who was involved in this, but I'm sure we're gonna find out in the replay later. As we go up the hill, second gear, tires are still cold, tire pressure is still not quite there yet. You have to remember Assetto Corsa Competizione is just all about tire pressures. If you don't get them right, you're just screwed, basically. Like I found out in uh, Barcelona. But now we go into this very fast section. I'm taking it very slowly. As I mentioned, tire pressures are not quite there yet, but there's yellow flags and there's one, two cars, three cars, a Porsche and Mercedes facing the wrong way, I think. And there's another car also taken towards the exit route. No, there's a McLaren spun the wrong way around. And there's another car, absolute traffic jam here. There's <laughs> no way we can avoid all of that. Uh, Jesus. But I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. As we go towards the final corner, we have to take that in first gear, I believe. Otherwise, you risk running right and going into the wall, pretty much. Now, the replay. 30 cars on the grid. Just awesome to have so many cars racing. It's a lot of fun. And you always basically have at least one or two cars you can fight with. But you can see McLaren, Porsche, Ferrari, all the, all the cars are lined up here. Now, what happened here? What happened? Can we see that? No, the cars are already parked up there. Oh, and there was contact. Now we are on board with uh, Ronnie Lab. <laughs> I mentioned him earlier. He's the reason why we are in this league. Let's see what happened to him on the opening lap. Yellow flag, be careful there. And no, no, he was the guy who smashed into the Mercedes, I believe. But to be fair, there was nothing he could do there, was there. So just, uh, he was just blind and couldn't avoid them. But look at this, people jumping on the brakes, crashing, trying to avoid each other, causing even more mayhem, absolute madness. Oh, there, you can see it there, there we are. Nice overtake there on slow motion, but uh, <laughs> let's see another replay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is this league? What is this league? Is this a league race or is this an open lobby, guys? Come on. You can see us in the Ferrari there. So we overtake the Porsche, but we also had slight contact there with uh, Schoenberg and the Mercedes there, who then got mucked up onto the wall. But I think we did quite well to avoid most of them. And now, after the first lap, I think we're in P3. 
P14. <laughs> Come on. P14. That would be awesome if you could hold that, but it's a long race. You can see time is ticking down. It's a one hour race, so still a long way to go. There's another car going very slowly. And actually, yeah, we're doing quite well to avoid him and make up another position here on this in the second sector. So as long as we just keep it clean here on the second sector, uh, we should be should be good. You can see our lap time two minutes seven. I mean, it's not it's not great, but um, it's also it's also not super slow. So we can fight with that, especially since the fuel levels are at uh, 60 liters. Um, you cannot push too much. You have to burn a little bit of fuel before you can start to go into the two minutes and five, two minutes and four, which would be a decent lap time already. So six laps in, uh, we got some company, it seems. Uh, what is that? An Audi, I think, in a very poisonous color. I love it. But um, he's looking very dangerous, swerving left and right. Now we have to defend, try to get a good exit after the first corner. So he doesn't get too much of slipstream. But no, he actually makes a mistake. Okay, well, never mind. I think we're good. We can hang on uh, to our P14, at least for now. And uh, oh, the sound, man, and the... The quality of this replay is just awesome on Assetto Corsa. I would love to, to see this on every game, like iRacing or Formula 1 game. It's just incredible. Just incredible. <laughs> I could listen to this Ferrari all day. But okay, we have to focus, not get ahead of ourselves. Um, we got another McLaren there for company. So maybe a freeway fight for P15. But... Uh, Let's see, on the first corner we didn't get a get, uh, good exit here, it seems. And the McLaren goes around the outside, mind you. File that is. And we have another car there, the poisonous <laughs> Audi there, going also around the outside. You can see me uh, a little bit frustrated there, waving the hand that he went for this move. But I had to let him go because, believe it or not, he is the championship leader of the DMV Couch Masters, Neumann. He's in P1 in the standing so we don't want to mess around with these guys i don't want to be the cause for him to lose the championship or something so i think we did quite well to give him the space or he could just overtake us but there's some yellow flags no never mind and we're going off track here yeah <laughs> this is quite tricky this corner and we just can't manage to keep it on the track so we just decide okay whatever let's go on the pits uh, repair our car a little bit remember we had the incident earlier on the opening lap shouldn't be too much of damage so hopefully we haven't to stand around for too long maybe a minute or something yes one minute Let's go. Go, go, go. and we can go on so like i mentioned very fast boys in here they can do lap times of two two minutes and one seconds which is about the lap record on this game believe it or not so german motorsport association has some some very quick guys and probably i do not belong here just yet but uh, i just love the challenge as you know um, i'd love to throw myself into those ridiculous challenges and just try to learn and improve really and also bring you bring you guys some some quality and also some new content for you to enjoy saying that yeah new content rather i believe jesus we have another contact didn't get too much of uh, damage there though it seems and then the other lap we do the exact same what is what's happening what's the tire pressures Faster car approaching. Watch out. you can see tires are a little bit cooked now 28 20 point 28 point 5 tire pressure right now you can see it there on the dash on the on the wheel so yeah i really struggled to be honest on that section and then i struggle again what's happening oh, i'm just left. seem to be falling left. apart and now i'm actually losing two positions there you can see with the pit stop and those mistakes we're in p20 now not so good but we're still in the race so if this was a formula one race hang on what's he doing Yellow flag is one. he's going on the grass okay uh, if it was a formula one race i would have been dnf like four times already but uh, since this since this is gt3 we live to fight for another day and this guy goes a little bit wide he bangs the wall we almost get the <laughs> we almost get a big tank slap there uh, try to catch it we managed to do so now we're side by side through this fastest section of the of the track 
we're still on the inside we should have this now if we can manage to negotiate this corner we do so uh, second gear and uh, now up into third gear and yeah you can see my little fist bump there i was very happy with this move very happy it was actually some some good racing there so now we're actually moving up into the top 20 once again remember the other guys also have to do their one mandatory pit stop so Jesus! No! I mean, no! No! <sighs> this section is just to the most difficult, in my opinion. But uh, now we have to repair the car. There's just no, no other way around it. We have to make a second pit stop. <sighs> so frustrating. I was a little bit distracted, I have to say. Looking in the mirror, watching out for blue flags. And yeah. I went a little bit too fast, went a little bit too wide. Box, box, we have to repair the car. Put it in the wall. Ah, it's so frustrating, but you know, it's my first league race. Things can happen. Luckily, it's only again one minute of repair time, and we get some fresh tires as well. So hopefully. Fast car is approaching. Hopefully, we can just continue and have a clean race from now on. But I'm in saying that again, I lose the, the back end in this section and even collide with one guy who wasn't too cautious, maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm sorry for making contact there, whoever that was. I'm just, uh, I'm still a noob, I gotta say. Uh, I'm just trying my best. But also, I was just. Okay, there's another for another Mercedes facing the wrong way. So, yeah, to my defense, I was quite tired. I was quite tired after a five hour chess match and also the league race in the formula one virtual racing league there wasn't too much in the tank left uh, for me personally so i just wanted to yeah see what i can do just want to see the checkered flag really and uh, we're still in the race which is good and we're not dead last which is also good <laughs> now we have a mercedes on the right is that actually for overtake or is it is it for position or I don't know Car if it was uh, a blue flag, but you can see cars. Ah, it's Neumann again. Yes. Um, so he's looking good, very pacey. He's overtaking us for the second time or lapping us for the second time. So we're two laps down. But who said? Oh, that's Ronnie. That's lap. Ronnie lap. On the right. He's going slowly there on the... I think it's... I believe it's the last lap or second to last lap already. Oh, that's not looking good, is it? The car is absolutely broken there. Not sure what's happening. I think he also has a flat tire there. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate. So we actually overtake him on the lap on the last lap. <sighs> I'm sorry for you, Ronnie, but I'm sure we will come back stronger. Now as we go into the last section, we're actually catching up to, to Heinz there. I remember him earlier. So I think this is still full position. You can you can see, yes, this is the last lap, the last corner. Can we still do something? He's going wide, he's going a little bit too wide, so we go for it. I think we it's a drag race to the finish line and we, we got into P19 on the on the last 50 meters. Come on. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> oh man, it's always nice to finish a race like that. Uh, it always makes you happy. And uh, now you can see here the replay from uh, Johnny Eckert that is. IRT Racing or Jerome Eckert, yes, IRT Racing. So you can see we just managed to, to get right. past Heinz the there. Right. Tom Berkner, I think that is. And uh, we are up into P19. Yes, not bad, not bad. I definitely take that. So P19 of 29 runners for my first league race in Assetto, in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Not bad, right? So leave me down in the comment section down below what you think of my driving. Give me a thumbs up if you think not bad or put it in the comment section down below where you think I could improve. So yeah, now in the standings, um, unfortunately we can't see us. I don't think we score points for P19 of P29, uh, but you can see the top six or top eight drivers in the season i will just blend them in i think it's neumann rodi reinert and peachman and also Birken there in p5 which we just overtake on the last lap so not bad 
uh, definitely take that and hope you guys enjoyed it on this note also i want to point out that i will be streaming assetto corsa on twitch as well and also formula one co-op career mode in the next week with tristan so definitely watch out for that on twitch now i wish you guys an awesome race tomorrow it's gonna be Lewis or max i can't wait for the race in abu dhabi so wish you a good race there uh, enjoy and as always i will catch you for the next video very soon bye